Only through meditation can we begin to understand our role. We're nothing but grains of sand. That was freaking transcendental, Paul McCartney. Don't you agree, John Lennon? Yes, Dewey Cox. With meditation, there's no limit to what we can imagine. What do you think, George Harrison, of the Beatles? I don't know, you know, I'm just trying to get some more songs on the album. You know. And as Ringo Starr, I'm not so interested in meditation. I just like to have fun. <laughs> I like the little one. <laughs> it's so dark in this tent, you know. It reminds me when we, the Beatles, the four Beatles, mm. to us. From Liverpool. Yeah, yeah we are from England. Liverpool. Mm. We used to play those dark clubs in Hamburg. You remember that, Paul? Of course I do. I booked them. I'm the leader of the Beatles. But I have to say, I like your stuff. It's pretty good, and uh, most of your records I really enjoy. Well, we're big fans of your records, too. We like to think that Hard Day's Night is our guiltiest charge. Great record. Excellent album. We learned a lot from Great it. Great record. Well, we're real big fans of y'all. Huge fans. You guys are almost as good as the monkeys. You guys are great. I think I might adjourn to another dimension and take some LSD. You care to join me? Yeah, let's do that. Care to join us for some LSD, do we? It's mm. good for you. Built by scientists, it is. Lysergic. <sighs> Gotta check with headquarters. Mom Dewey Cox, think you might enjoy it. Open up your mind to new experience, a new level of consciousness like we do, because we are the Beatles. Why don't you just let him decide if he wants to take LSD, he'll take it. He doesn't have to listen to you. You're not the boss of him. Don't tell me what to say and what not to say, Paul McCartney. I'm sick of you being so dark when I'm so impish and whimsical. I'm sick of it. Hey, everyone, I'm I've got a brand new mantra, hmm? Um, Paul's a big fat cunt. <laughs> Don't know why you two don't let me write more songs. You know? I, I just sit here while my guitar quietly whimpers. Well, you are the quiet one, so why don't you shut the fuck up? I've got a song about an octopus. Jam it up your ass. You're lucky we still let you play drums. Mm. Wow. Seems like there's a rift happening between the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if your songs will still be shit when I'm 64. Great song. No! Stop it! You stop fighting! Well, Beatles, please stop fighting here in India. Only He's let him go. Let him work it out. Right, right in the box. Dewey. You've been living clean for three years now, and it's done you a world of good, has it not? Look, I know I've had my trouble with drugs in the past, but I'm addicted to coke, weed, booze, lewds, and speed, not LSD. Nobody gets addicted to LSD. It was invented by scientists. Ringo Starr just told me. I heard that doing LSD can awaken your demons. <laughs> I ain't got no demons gonna get woke. <laughs> if you promise it'll just be this one time, Okay, let's go drop acid with the Beatles. Hello, Dewey. Welcome to your LSD trip. Where everything's a cartoon. We're the trippy cartoon Beatles. Look at that, it's a flying fish. Totally trippy. Wow, this LSD's all right. I like being a trippy cartoon. Just keep thinking happy thoughts, Dewey. I'd hate for this to turn into a bad trip. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What's that scary music? I had an unhappy thought. It's a bad trip. Bad trip, bad trip. Help. Trippy machete. Oh, fuck me. I can see my large colon. <laughs> I guess I do have some demons. You all right, Cox? I don't know. Do you want some more LSD? Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> Mr. Schwartzberg, you're his longtime manager. Maybe you can talk to him. Well, what's the problem? He's been on that trampoline for four days. You have got to talk some sense into him. I'm worried. Dewey, as your manager, I have to tell you I'm concerned. I think the LSD has changed you. It has changed me. It's opened my mind right up. I'm reinventing music. I'm creating something new that I call schmusic. You've been recording the same song for eight months. You're not even close to being finished. That's because this record is different than any other record I've made. I told you. This is going to be my masterpiece, the one I'm remembered by. This one's for my brother. What brother? Nothing. 
Never mind, it's private. 